Hi, this is Bill from Generation 3 Electric, and here we have examples of three types of light switches. We have a single pulse switch, three-way switch, and a four-way switch. You can tell that the um, switches are a single pulse switch because it only has this one only has two screw holes. Um, this is actually the oldest one we have here. I'll take, take it apart. And we'll take a look here. The switch is simply a rocker. It, the only markers we have on here are on the on and off and that's how I can tell it is the oldest one so it's only the on and the off on there and what this does is it actuates this little spring in here right there that little spring which is actually moving there is this bar right there that slides up and connects two metal contacts that for from here that would make the light go on and slide down and all the contacts would go off. So basically all that switch is doing is moving this piece here to close the contact and open it. And that is a single pole switch. Now we have a slightly newer one. Um, that other switch is probably from the 40s, 50s. This one here is a three-way. It's slightly newer. Um, we know it's a three-way because it has a Gold screw or so a gold screw there, which is um, the common, and two traveler screws on the other side. Take this apart right here. We take a look at the yoke. It's actually stamped. So take a little closer. Oops. It has the company name, which is Slater, and it has the voltage. It's 15 amps, 250 volts. Catalog number up top. Some numbers I'm not sure what they mean, and then the underwriter stamp is right there. So that's how I know it's a newer switch. The other one, other company was not labeled. This here is the switching mechanism itself. Just, just back and forth, pull it apart, and then it again has the same spring, and then there's the yoke thing inside. This little piece right here, and that's the piece that goes back. Oops. There it goes back. Right there, switch to that side. It goes to that side. And that is the part that actually works it. Oops. So here it goes. I popped it out. It's just this piece is a piece that is actually being moved right there. And if we look inside the switch itself, this is the common. So this one here, we can actually take it apart. I believe. These here. These here are individual pieces. So this is one of the travelers. And this is one part of the switch. This here is the second traveler. It's an individual piece. So we got traveler, traveler, and let's see if we can pop out this last piece. All right. This one doesn't look like it wants to come out. Well, we can take a better look at it this way now, anyhow. You can see there, it's one solid piece of copper on the side. So that would go over here, and all this would do would say connect these two wires or these two wires. I guess it's not really a good picture. There we go. That's that's a three-way. Now here goes a four-way. Now this is a newer Leviton style. You can see the underwriter stamp on here, right there. So this is probably done at least in like 90s or 80s. And there's the voltage requirements. And you can see this one is actually um, forged together, so it really doesn't come apart. Um, to take it apart, we have to break it. So let's, let's break this thing up and take a look inside. And there we go. And that's the problem. Newer things are just harder to see the parts. There we go. So we have the same spring there.
that rocker. So we have the newer rocker, and it's just the same thing, same actuator there, same type of spring environment here. Oh. And the four way, oh. it is just a complicated mess in there. There's two contacts on here, one contacts this way. The other one contacts it the other way, and I guess this is probably a bad example to show you how a four-way works, but they just have a lot more little doohickey pieces. There you go.